AfterBuzz TV Network, now the largest new media platform on the web, and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Dancing with the Stars After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Dancing with the Stars After Show. Hi. Bing is for doing, and we are here doing another episode of Dancing with the Stars, uh, season 16, week two. My co-host, Kristen Burt, is live on the line throughout the whole show. She is not here, but um, you can tweet her at, at Kristen Burt live, and also hashtag ABTV Dance if you want to tweet to her right now. Joining me today, let's start with my co-host, Jake Dupree. Hi. I'm so happy to be here. We are so excited <laughs> to have you here, and we'll get into what your background is in a second. Mm -hmm. And then we have the lovely pro dancer, Anna Trebinskaya. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm excited to be here and talk about Dancing with the Stars. Mm -hmm. We are thrilled to have you here. Thank y'all. And, you know, we just, if anybody, I don't know, you must be under a rock if you don't know who she is, but she's been a pro on the show for so many years. Yes. Um, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was a, a wee baby when I started the show. Uh, uh, yeah. But 10 seasons. I was with the show for 10 seasons. That's wow. a lot. Of that's like, yeah, that's a veteran, although I don't like that word. But you are. Uh, yeah. I kind you're, of am, but I don't like that word. You're incredible. It's and a well earned talent. It's a well earned word for you. Veteran. That's a great word. And yeah. so tell us a little bit about what you're going to be doing this season since you, you weren't paired up with somebody. I wasn't paired up with a celebrity. Uh, every single year it's different. Um, it's, a, it's a big, a lot of thought is put into casting. And, you know, we want to keep the show fresh and all that stuff. So this season I don't have a celebrity, but I'll still be coming and doing extra performances on Tuesdays, maybe choreograph a thing or two. Nice. Uh, Fantastic. But uh, it's, um, it's kind of... It's nice to just watch the show and not have the stress and just enjoy it for what it is and kind of be the, the audience member is this for your once. Is this your first time doing that? La uh, in the while. I did yeah. season two, and then I, w I went back to competing professionally on the international, like, world level, and I skipped two seasons, and then I was on for two seasons, and I skipped another two seasons because I was still competing, and I just felt like I wanted to give it all and give it my, my best in my own competitive career. Um, and then I was with the show uh, consecutively for 9, 10, 11, 12. Like six seasons. I know wow. you, you. You were just telling me right before this that yeah. uh, you know you were watching playback of the show and whatnot mm -hmm. it, to come on tonight. So we, you know, we're up yeah. to date. What was that like for you? <laughs> well, it was actually kind of fun because I'm just so proud. I, this show went so far from season one and season two. Like I remember season two. Like we didn't have props like that. We didn't have didn't have special effects with like mushrooms growing on the floor. <laughs> yeah. That was amazing. Sharks I love that. And all that <laughs> stuff. And the costume department is just exquisite. Like it started a few seasons back, but the the production value of the show really stepped up. And it's a spectacle. Every single dance is a spectacle. And that's that's hey, that's good entertainment, you know. It absolutely is, and I, I've said it last season a lot. I mean, you can see it on TV, but even in person, mm -hmm. the costumes mm -hmm. are immaculate, unbelievable, right? They really are, and the whole and they production. are made from scratch. Like every single costume that you see for Monday Night Show is non-existent on Tuesday night. Wow, the, right. w the week before, right? Right. So it, it's like less than seven days for them to do all that, and when you have so many people. Actually, I don't know if you know that. Maybe you don't. Special scoop about the costumes. <laughs> yeah, it's an after buzz. Exclusive. All the men's, all the men's outfits are made by two people. I knew two that. Two people. Wow. Incredible. That's impressive. Right. Mr. Garo and Mrs. Garo. They're this lovely Armenian people in uh, Koreatown. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Week two, 
as a pro, what what is the flavor like backstage? You know, where are you, where are your heads at usually in week two? Week two, uh, well, I feel like it depends. This season, and I've been on seasons where we did not have an elimination week one, and everybody starts to get eliminated, or people start to get eliminated week two. You kind of, week one is like a freebie. You just enjoy it and you have fun, everybody loving it. Week two is for the celeb. I mean, the pros, we all know that. But it's for the celebrities, they start to go, oh, my gosh, this <laughs> just got real. What did I get myself right. into? You know what I mean? So uh, they they starting to kind of go, what? but they, they don't even know how to react to it yet. They like, I mean, even Tuesday, they were like, you're safe. And they're like, what? Oh, yeah, that, that was you're very safe. strange. What? But sometimes it's hard to hear in there. It is hard to hear. It is. And and sometimes it's hard to hear Brooke, actually, for some right. reason. You can he always hear Tom, but it's something <laughs> with the microphones. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, it's like people, people, and I'm, by people I mean celebrities, contestants, they don't really realize that it's they can go home, potentially, or they can be in the bottom two. And um, one of the contestants said, like, oh, my gosh, it's terrifying standing there right. under the le red light. It's right. terrifying. Right. Well, let's yeah. get right into things. Let's do it. First up was Kim and Ingo dancing the quick step. Yes. Yeah. Um, thoughts on these guys? Well, I, I was really excited to see what he would do with Ballroom because last week, the contemporary, I felt like she... I love Kim's choreography, but I thought that it was a lot of lifts and he didn't really get to move that much, in my opinion. Dance, yeah, like yeah. really dance. Right. And this, I was actually really pleasantly surprised because he's a very large person, tall person. Yes. So I thought his footwork was great. And I know that Carrie Ann and Lynn both kind of went back and forth saying that his hold was no off brain. and the footwork was off. But I actually <sighs> thought his the top line was not as great that I thought it would be. But, that's, yeah. you know, it's only week two, and this was his first chance at ballroom. Yes. Sure. So, I mean, of course, there's going to be elements that aren't all there. And, and, and we just had this conversation right before we started the show. With contemporary, and it, correct me if, you, if I'm wrong, because you're a contemporary dancer, you anything goes kind of a thing well it's it's improv based so you can kind of like based. flourish so it's it's it comes from you know ballet and then modern and then it's contemporary and there's some lyrical jazz thrown in there blah 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 so but it's kind of like what is so beautiful about contemporary and i'm so happy that the show is adding like contemporary and jazz and we had hip hop last time i'm quite this is the one thing i'm bummed about that i'm not this this season there because I would love to do that. I've seen you do some contemporary and some modern yeah. things on the show and it's to, amazing. Yeah, I would love to, like, I would have loved to do Maybe one of the pro numbers. Never Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you never know. But I, I just think it's beautiful and I'm a big fan of the style. So it's like there is no, no such rules, but with like a quick step it's a killer. Like, it's kind of, it's so restricting with the frame, never leave your partner, have to match your footwork. It's so technical that then, of course, all the little mishaps come about. You were saying it's like the death dance. It's the death dance. <laughs> every, every season, there's it always, anytime anyone pulls out quick step on this show and on So You Think You Dance, everyone's face just kind of falls. Yes, we right, all mention right. So You Think You Can Dance because well, this is not ABC Family. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. They got a 20 <laughs> on that. Bus TV, by the way. The judges gave them a 20 out of 30. That's you, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I that's pretty good. For week two, I mean, that's, I think it's that's great. I thought so. I was pleasantly surprised. And overall, it. they had 40 out of 60, which was I right. love their song, a, a too. Decent, yeah, I right. too. I love their song. Um, okay, moving on. Yeah. Second up was Dorothy and Tristan doing the jive. Aww. I know. I, she is oh, my heart of hearts. Really? Like, she is my spirit animal. Like, I just think she... <laughs> There's Love this gorgeous, that. giving nature that's just sweet. It's lovely to watch, she is and lovely. I'm obsessed with her. And I'm, she. They only got really two days of practice and rehearsal time because mm -hmm. of her injury and nerve damage and, and whatever. Good was for going Tristan on. for coming up with different techniques to teach her, like yeah. with the iPad and stuff. I was like, wow, technology. I mean, that, that's it's amazing. That's a use right? that I didn't know that you could use for dance, but that's great that you can <laughs> teach it. And I, I just love her quality of movement. It's so beautiful. Even the moments where she was really unsure, she would get back into it, and it would be like, she was graceful. it was impressive. Right. It was nice. Right. Kristen, what did you think of Dorothy and uh, Tristan's? 
Hi, everyone. I'm here. Hi. <laughs> anyway, you know, I thought you could see that she was dancing through pain. And, yeah. you know, it was one of those things that um, you could see the pain. She was going through it. She was missing her hands a lot. And yes, some of that was lack of rehearsal. And I know that at the end she said, I don't feel anything. But I'm sure that <laughs> she had had a lot of cortisone and everything else to mask yeah. the pain. But her body was feeling it. And, I, you know, she pushed through it. It's a mental thing because she's an athlete. But I, I think we saw the result of that and, and what happened on Tuesday. Tuesday night. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I know. It's such a shame, but uh, you, that's a great point, Kristen, too. As an athlete, you do push through. You push and push right. and push, and obviously the doctors pulled the plug on that, but yeah. Well, I think she made this smart decision. I mean, Dancing with the Stars is a great show, but it's, you know, Health life first. will go on That's after right. Dancing with the Stars. And she's a smart lady. She's uh, She knows. And, and she's, hey, she's an experienced athlete. So when something hurts in her body, she knows. She knows, yeah. So if, if she had to pull out of the competition, it's because she's really in pain. Legitimate and reason. She has to Absolutely. take care of it. But she's absolutely the loveliest person i was so bummed that it, it just sucks i think we all were you yeah. know we were looking i think that they would have got they gone would have done really so far well I, I guarantee you they would have made it to at least the top five i think so with her her she had so much more to do on this show like I, her journey I was so so cut short and i hate that yeah. i hate that that she's gone yeah. i agree well they were given a 15 out of 30 which um was probably fair given what they had to work with, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, okay, next up was Jacoby and Car Karina doing a jazz number. I love this couple. <laughs> I love Jacoby. I said it last week, like the guy has charisma. The man oh, can yeah. move. Yes, I, was, can. I was actually screaming at the TV, like with excitement and joy and like, work. It was just so good. <laughs> I don't know, did you guys love it? I love that. He, what I enjoy about him is that he fills that entire space. Like, yeah. whenever he comes out there, he commands the entire space. And I think it's yes. maybe his size, but he also extends through his arms you know, size and everything. doesn't matter always. It doesn't always matter, actually, I must say. That, that is true. You, like, could be, you could be skinny, you could be whatever. It's, it's <laughs> your presence. Mm -hmm. It's not the size, it's how you do it. Well, the exactly. man can move. Dancing. Exactly. Thank in you. Dancing. His little hops forward there remember I, he God. just had the, the <laughs> and, so and his good. like fan He's kick so attitude good. yes I his jump you. the jump when he came off the stairs yeah right. i loved it Kristen, bert what did you think I love his cocky attitude because it's not cocky in a negative way. It's no. cocky yeah. in a great way. He's got confidence, but it's friendly and it's fun. And I think he's a great contender. He's a good match with Karina, which I didn't mm. think Apollo was last season. Yeah. And the one thing, Len did make one really good point. He wants to see what he's gonna, how he's going to handle Paso Doble and the tango. And the, it will be interesting because the jazz, dances, the jazz yeah. routine was definitely tailored to Jacoby's yeah. strength. So yep. I want to see when he has to do something a little a bit more classical like really maintaining that hold I, I don't, I'm anxious to see what yeah. he'll do I mean I don't I think that he'll do fantastic but he'll it's gonna be fantastic. tough I think so what do you think Ms. I think he's I, I think first of all he has the right attitude about the show he doesn't he, take himself too seriously he doesn't take Karina too seriously because she's a tough chick and she can really you know get get under your skin in the good way she's a tough coach she's a dear friend of mine so i can say that well we hear you're the same <laughs> yeah by the way i am mm. similar we come from the same school of thought right um but he he takes it uh, one step at a time he takes it as a journey he's having fun but he's working hard because you could tell because he's timing actually was impeccable mm -hmm. his timing with her was exact he his tricks and lifts with her were exact i mean he even though yes will it be a little bit harder for him to do the fox roads and the quick steps absolutely but he's gonna work hard that the one lift that he did where she was in the back attitude and he like flipped her up right. onto his shoulder yeah. i was like i, I was genius. laughing to myself <laughs> because yeah. i was like he's like throwing her around like a football Pretty much. Just yeah. like tossing, because she's so tiny. <laughs> she's tiny. She is. So. Like, the height difference between those two, that'll be interesting and hold, too, especially on those, ah, they'll be some fine. of those dances. They'll be fine. Yeah, I love it. I like uh, well, their score was a 23 out of 30. Very good. Great I score, I think yeah. it's a great score at this point in the game, because he really should... I think he has a good fan base, because usually football players do, and especially just coming from the Super Bowl. So he needs to... I don't want to say pace himself, but he needs to build up the momentum with his dancing because the fans are going to pull him through for sure. Mm -hmm. Love it. 
awesome. All right. That's what I said. Next up was Victor and Lindsay doing the jive. Aww. This guy is so charming. He's so cute. He is, right? His he's charisma so, he's really is really cute. Super admirable. Okay, so um, Anna. Yes. What did you think? I think that actually, as much as like people don't like judges' comments, that they were somewhat right that he really went out with a lot of energy, but then because he was attacking it so much that a, a little bit of his precision and technique went out of the window. But on any given day, I'll take the attack and energy over technique. Because I think that's that's essentially just shows his commitment and that he really wants it. It's like you... You can't expect those people to be perfect. You know, that's that's why they're not pros. That's why it's not dancing with the pros. It's <laughs> dancing with the celebrities, stars. Is it, is it kind of one of those things where, uh, as a pro, you, you would rather have to tone somebody down rather than try and pull more of their energy out? Because, you, you know, because he just, attacks? He, you know what? Sometimes it's kind of a, it's a funky thing because till the last moment, literally, till the day of the show, you just don't know what they're going to do. You just don't know. Because in the rehearsal, they may be this one type of person or this one type of dancer. And then during the show, they either bring it, like some people are good under pressure, or they'll they'll get s smaller and they'll close off. And they'll or they'll get stiff. So you just don't know. It's kind of like you you just hope for, for a miracle to happen. And if it does, it's like, wow, okay, this was a miracle. You heard that a lot last week. Sorry, a lot of the pros were like, I didn't, we didn't know what to expect. Sharna said, I yes. had no idea what was going to happen and with Andy. I remember what Sharna said last week on the show with here at right. After Buzz. She said that with Lisa and Glebs, on the rehearsal, she was incredible. And she was congratulated Gleb being like, congratulations, this is amazing. Thank you. You're, you're welcome for having that partner. <laughs> and then mm. she went out and kind of messed up so you just don't know how yeah. what's going to happen when that when those cameras click on and that audience and everything i can't even imagine what that must be like ha having to hit all those marks and find all those cameras that's it's tough well, that's, it's a skill to learn as well, well as the dance i think it's uh one of my teachers calls it the animal instinct mm -hmm. it's when yeah, i'll show you a little demonstration <laughs> i allow, love it allow, yes allow yes. me to show a little demonstration <laughs> right here now okay uh, here so it's like you know when you see like um, a dog or a, let's say a dog and the dog you just saw the ball and it was goes it goes into that like mm. or the cat sees a bird and goes and it gets like that, ready, right. ready. Yeah, ready. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like that the focus, instinct. that instinct. So it's that animal instinct of just focus and being in the moment. Right. And it's actually kind of hard to teach. It's practically impossible to No, teach. and that's why I think athletes do so well. Yeah. I mean, Tony would always tell me, you know, back, oh, I know this about Sean Johnson anyway. Yeah. An athlete like her, it's, it's game. Game mm -hmm. on. It's go time. That's Eyes, boom. Same, Here we same go. with Alexandra, yeah. I think with uh, some people, I mean, like Lisa, she's not technically a performer. No. And, and I think yeah. that's, a t that's a quality that you necessarily can't teach. Like, yep. she might not have, you know, practiced that a lot. Right. So. So, but we'll see. She might, she might have it in her, like when it comes to business. You know, she knows probably when she comes into this negotiation room, she has it on. She's like, that's this game is my time. game. Yeah. Right. So she just needs to bring that into the in ballroom. Mm -hmm. um, Kristen, did you want to say anything about Victor and Lindsay's performance? Yeah, just a couple things. Um, you know, for an athlete, the one thing that Victor surprised me is that he doesn't have as much control. So that was a little surprising because mm -hmm. we're used to seeing the athletes have a little bit more control over their movement. That's true. Because they're, they know their muscles really well and they know their body well. But he does, as you guys said, he's got this great energy. It needs to be contained a little bit. Um, but I wanted to applaud Lindsay. You know, you have to remember, she's 19. And when he had that little breakdown in rehearsal, she handled it she so well. I mean, right. I think if I think back on myself at 19, I probably would have flipped a <laughs> lid. And here she was. She's like, you know, you need to be here. You need to rehearse. You need to, you know, I, I want you to do this. And she really reined him in and, and got him back and got him refocused. And I thought that was pretty incredible. Excellent. I, I think that you can see that in her movement as well. She, there's a maturity that mm -hmm. for, she, I would, if you were just randomly looking at her, you would never think 19 by the way that she moves. Like right. there's a there's a fire and a woman in her that I, I think is really nice to see. Yeah. And, and last week on the show, Sharna did mention to us that uh, that's probably one of the reasons why that she was chosen. Over Whitney. Right, at yeah. this point, because of her maturity and, and her teaching style. That's but great point, Kristen. Good point. Yeah. Excellent. And their score was 18 out of 30. Not What'd the best, think? not the best, but I think uh, it's fair. I did too. 
I think yeah, it's fair. I agree with the score. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoy our show, please look us up on iTunes and our podcast and rate us. Get comments. We love your feedback. We we, we do check on it. We will comment back. Um, it's a it's super super helpful to us. So yeah. please check that out. Check that out. I can speak English. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, I know, Kristen, you're laughing at me right now. Mm -hmm. um, no, you're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go into the next dance here. My boy Tony and Winona oh, doing the quick step. Um, well, of course, you all know it's no secret that he's one of my dearest, closest friends. And, um, you know, I know he's having a great time with Winona. What are your thoughts on on their routine? I love the routine. I thought it was uh, it was good because it had sense of humor and it had sort of the showcase factor to it. And I really enjoyed that. And I'm glad that she she kind of actually got into it more as the song went on. Towards she the end, got I a little bit more into character. She's, she just has to keep doing that. Like she, I mean, I know Tony wants her to be a, you know, the best dancer in the world, and we all want to do that with our celebrities. But he's doing a really great job with her this season, kind of keeping it suited for her. Yes. He's and a great teacher. The thing is, yeah. is that she can move. She really can, she can move, and she's got good musicality and good mm -hmm. timing. And I, I thought all the steps were there. It was just like a slow mo version of a quick step. Right. Which I mean, that's understandable. Which is what the for, judges yeah. mentioned that, yeah. right. that it was a little slow, and, and that they want to see her take more risks. Mm -hmm. And I think that's all, that's all I want to do is just like shake her because you know that she can have like so much fun and like really get that fire she has going. The fire. She does. She definitely she's has the so fire. fiery. You could see it in the the little comments that she makes you're like you got it girl you just have to again it's she's got it she just has to apply it to her dancing but it's, I, it's a it's a process and i think that she'll be around for a while on the show because i mean she has a huge fan base Both and she's super them. fun to watch too and i think that it'll be really fun to see how she progresses i've been saying it from the beginning whole two weeks um <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, winona has incredible stage presence mm -hmm. that you cannot teach and it's it's fun to watch you know, yeah. I'm I'm enjoying them as a couple. I think they're gonna be Me around too. for a little while. Me I too. think so too. Uh, their score was 18 out of 30. Again, pretty fair. I thought it was fair. Surprise. No? I mean, I, I wanted like maybe 18. like 18. Yeah, what were you thinking? I wanted at least one more seven to kind of put them above because I thought they were a little bit better than Victor and Lindsay, I don't who got think the so. same score. I don't, I don't know. Think I think so. that her Tony quality looked of very is. underwhelmed with the score. Yeah, <laughs> I was kind of underwhelmed with the scores, but. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, next up, we have Zendaya yeah. and Val. Yay! Aww. I love with them. the jive. Mm. And I, first of all, I loved her costume. I know yes. I always comment on the costumes, but I mean, how could I not? Of They're course. Gorgeous. It was sick. So um, sick. Like, and her body just looked the, everything. The girl yes. has lines. Gorgeous mm -hmm. lines. Um, I'm gonna go to you guys, but uh, I just I loved it. So let's right. just start there. And also, let's say that, you know, that everybody out there loved it because they chose them as the encore dance. Uh-huh. So, um... On Twitter. On Twitter. That was Thank you. It was trending worldwide, too, that last was night. Was it? Yes. Awesome. Yes. So. Amazing. Okay. Mm -hmm. What did you think? I think she did fantastic. I think for 16... First of all, she's 16, so she's amazing already that she's doing that at her age and her maturity how she approaches everything um but she's just a pure talent she really is there there are a few moves that she did because of the speed and because she has really long arms and long legs it was a little bit like a bambi just that's a what little, i called her last week <laughs> a little bit a little bambi <laughs> uh, but i give her props because she you know whatever dancing she did on on her show What's her show? Hip hop. She did a lot of hip hop. Hip hop. Yeah. Shake it up. There's a lot of hip hop, and it's it's a different type of movement. So she's doing a fantastic job. I think Val is doing a great job with her. He's he's really grooming her to be this this gorgeous dancer. In their opening segment, they and they were showing her walking in heels, and she was I was I was nervous. Was and then <laughs> she comes out, and it's not even an issue. Like it's right. her her placement is so perfect in those heels, and I love that. And I just like that she sells it the entire time. Her yeah. face, you never see like a slip up moment. She it's always on. Like, it was like cougar. Like I was just like, that's amazing. And my favorite move from the whole dance was when she dropped down and her leg was out to the yes. side. And it was yes. just like this line yes. that kept going. And yes. then she went through gorgeous. Val's legs. And I was like, gorgeous. this girl, it's gorgeous. final two. I will say it. Yeah, I will okay. Say it. I will say, say it. I'm confident. Four. 
I'm I definitely For think sure. top three right I am, now. I am scared because people like Sabrina Bryan, who was amazing on that one season right. with Mark Vallis, she went home super early and yes, she was true. incredible. So it's just a matter of people really voting for her and pulling through because they can't just depend, oh, she's great, she's going to make make it through. What that's she, not, no, no. not going to happen. What she has going no, no. for her, though, is her youth. She's so, like, lovable. Lovable. Mm -hmm. She's lovable. really, really likable. And that's a huge deal yes. on this show. It for yeah. sure is. So, um, Kristen, you want to comment on Zendaya and Val? Yes, I love Zendaya. <laughs> and one thing she does have an advantage over other contestants the Shake It Up season is really long. I don't think people realize Disney Channel shoots for nine months, which is a lot longer than some other shows like that we see on network. So she's actually rehearsing and picking up choreography each and every week. And even though it's different than hip hop, she does have the ability to pick up steps very that's quickly true. because she's doing that week in, week out on her own show. That is true. So I think that's one area where she does have an advantage. And they can spend more time cleaning and mm -hmm. making her lines more precise and everything else. So yeah. I think that's going to take her all the way at least to top three. But and I also made this note while I was watching it. She reminds me of Nicole Scherzinger from a few seasons ago with yes. your Evan Lysacek, who I loved the two of you together. <laughs> well, thank you. And we'll talk about that. <laughs> and uh, I thought there's it's her lines and her kind of really skinny arms and legs. That reminds me of Nicole. Mm -hmm. they're right. And they're both kind of. Up, I feel right, like. Right, right, right. Yeah. In their mm -hmm. posture. Yes. I agree. And that's right. great. Yeah. Like, I, I love that. I particularly like their package, too, though, because it shows the transformation that mm -hmm. she's going through. Mm -hmm. You know, that from the heels to the, you know, legs kind of doing one thing and the arms <laughs> yeah. doing another thing. That was and cute. a personality, too. I, I really um, enjoy this couple a lot. Obviously, I think they're one of the best on the show. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So um, their score was 26 out of 30. Pretty deserved, I must yes. say. Yeah, and I want to say that I, I mentioned it to you guys earlier, and I wonder if you all agree, and Kristen, tell me if you do. In her encore dance, she was even more confident. Mm -hmm. I, I was like, I, I, that, that to me was like a final dance. Right. That's that how good she it was. She gave it all. Like, yes. she really went for it. And, and she knew she knew what she was doing. Yes. There was no, no timid. Nerves. There was no, no nerves. No. It was, you know, that, didn't Committed. you see it that? It was in her body. You know, mm -hmm. when your muscle memory, like, it's just it's there. You know how to, where to place and where to go. She had it. Confidence yeah. booster from mm -hmm. the day before. That's how I saw I it. I think so. I think she was like, I got this. And then she just went in and did it. She's like, I get to do it again, and I don't get to be judged. <laughs> yes. And everyone at home voted for her on Twitter. Like that that's a huge, huge confidence booster right there. Absolutely. That people so. really voted for her specifically. Yeah. We are gonna be seeing some amazing things from mm -hmm. them. I, I can't so. wait. I'm really excited about it. Okay, moving on to Andy and Sharna. Oh yes. Yay. Well they had I know the jazz number. I was screaming again at the TV because you know, for me. As a performer, when I want to physically be in the number, that says a lot. Yeah. Like it, it's I, the costumes were to die for. Mm -hmm. I personally like the production value of yes. this number. The proje projection on the dance floor was incredible with the growing right, mushrooms. With the the growing mu mushrooms. <laughs> ah, and their it was table. amazing. Like, that was table, that was great. the Everything. whole thing. I yeah. mean, start to finish. Andy was amazing when she was on his back. Was it that? Mm -hmm. in, Ah, it was just incredible. I can't, I can't say enough about this number. What? Tell me what you guys, I your was, thoughts are. I was are. saying this to them before, uh, before we filmed this, and I said that I usually get really emotional watching Dance with the Stars, uh -huh. and I actually teared up during his package and also during Aww. his performance because this is the person that he's always probably wanted to be. Yes. And in control, and he knows exactly what he's doing, and I think that... It's so nice to see that for somebody, and especially at his age, like he's probably wanted that to be there for a while. Right. And I'm so great point. Happy that he is doing great. Cause yeah. I, I saw last week. I mean, I think everybody seeing him gonna be on this show. Everyone was like, Ooh, yikes. That was my first initial be? thought. I know. Is it and, gonna be? Yeah. Mm -hmm, you just you right. just didn't know. You're like, okay, what is it the, gonna the only, be? The only critical thing I have to say about the dance is that I wish there was more dancing content. There was right. a lot of running around, and I was, and it was fun and like so entertaining. But right. I, wa I think that he can handle some choreography, right. and I wanted to see that. Yeah. What do you think, Anna? Do you think he can handle more? I, I think he can. I think now, especially after this week, that he got saved, that he uh, got pretty good comments from the judges, that he he 
the, the sense of accomplishment is such a big confidence booster that I think he's going to get into this week like, okay, I can really do this. Uh, because up till there, I think he was still, like with his first dance, he was still sort of like, I don't know, I don't know, I, don't know. I want right. to do this, but I don't know. So I, I think he, he will, mentally, he'll be much better about this. And I'm so, like you said, Jake, um, his comment about, like, do you understand that I go home, I didn't go and drink about this? And I was like, oh, oh my God, everybody can just, like, go home now. Mm -hmm. After this comment, I mean, on a personal human level, it was like, oh, my gosh, you, you just won an Oscar from me right there. Yeah. Just well, for admitting that and being so honest about it and vulnerable, but at the same time sort of matter of fact. And then going and doing like this crazy, psycho, phenomenal <laughs> number that was true, didn't have as much content, maybe as some other numbers, but it was so stylized and is so fitted for him that, I mean, it's, it was overall a, a blast. So he committed. Said, Absolutely. Committed. And he said when he was leaving uh, last night, you know, I'm done. I, if I go home, I'm OK, because yeah. I just crossed so many hurdles. And, yeah. and that was so amazing to see. Yeah. Kristen, I want to go to you. What did you think of their number? You know, I just love them as a couple, and I love the support that they have for each other. And I, I think in terms of the choreography, you guys are right. He, I, he can handle more. He's got the confidence now. And she said she even noticed um, from week one to week two that he could handle more steps, and she was going back and re-choreographing sections. So hopefully we'll see something even bigger from them in week three because I, I think they have the possibility to stick around a few more weeks. Yeah. I do, too. I think he's going to go all out, too. Mm -hmm. He like, reminds me a little bit. In the in a different way, but a little bit of Carson. Yes, yes. One of my partners yes. who Carson Cressley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, you could. This guy, whatever he says or whatever he does, is just comedy, and <laughs> like it was just fun and a crazy ride, and, and it, we lasted five weeks. I mean, he he had not the best scores, but man. What did he entertain? And I feel that's the same thing with Andy. That I think every number we're going to see from them is definitely going to be a production and entertainment factor is going to be through the roof. Absolutely. And I, I'm excited to see how the show is going to step it up each week too. Like right, you said, how yeah. far the show has come production value wise, and I think that I think that those two can pull out some kind of crazy cuckoo things. Oh, and I, I like think it. they will. I agree, and <laughs> yeah. I sure hope I want to so. give a shout out to Sharna because I'm loving her choreography. Mm -hmm. That's it good. It deserves some credit. Yeah. Uh, their score was 20 out of 30. Yeah. Good, though. Yeah, I, was, good. I was happy with I that. That was good. Right. Okay. I love it. All right. Moving on to Sean and Pita dancing the jive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I felt throughout the number, overall, my overall feeling was it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wasn't <laughs> yeah. super high. I wasn't super low with it. It was fun. I think he did better this week. I did too. Yeah. I want to say that. What did? You, what were your thoughts I, overall? I have a serious crush on Peta. Like beyond, it's like <laughs> she's out my of workout inspiration. I'm like, yeah. her legs. I'm just like, <laughs> I love you. I love you, Peta. Like I think you're fantastic, and her choreography is great. I do agree with what the judges said. It was more like about the theme rather than the right. moves. Mm -hmm. Yes, but. I was excited for Sean because last week I was kind of unsure about what he would be doing on the show and like what his progress would be. Mm -hmm. But I think I think I'm starting to see it. He's very I feel like he's trying very very hard. Right, and I, I appreciate is. that. I appreciate that. And it's hard for like a big guy who is an insurance agent <laughs> like in his real life like yeah. to be dancing and like that's really <laughs> tough and I'm He's I an don't insurance know. agent? He was. Like that's what his initial <laughs> that's what his initial initial career Look at was. His face. <laughs> and his face. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Do you, I did not watch. I'm sorry, but I did not watch The Bachelor. I, Bachelor. I didn't either. You didn't miss much. I did. <laughs> I always cheat ahead though. I always look up the um, the scoop so oh, you know yeah. like what happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. I, I don't yeah. read the ending of books either first, but I um, I enjoy it. You yes. need to know. I wanted to know. Um, what did you think of? Do you think Peta is kind of dumbing it down a little for I him? don't think she does. I think she's actually being quite smart in uh, doing things that work for him and doing things that work for both of them because Peter is such a strong dancer and such a strong like Presence, competitor. Presence, yeah. I'd say a competitor. She's like she's like a tiger. She just goes for it that sometimes she tends to 
overkill her, not overkill is not the right word, overpower her guys. And like, she, she's been very, very smart. She's been super smart. And usually in past seasons, she's kind of, it'll be this random point where she'll just like leg or leg and then like- You always see the legs. legs. The I'm legs like, always come. I'm like, we get it. Like we understand and I want to see the celebrity. So I want right, to see right, what right. they can do more than what I don't think so. we've seen a lot do. of her legs. This, this season, season, that's what I'm Not saying. Yet. I think see, that she's kind of like what, what you said. Yeah, is that that he? She's she's basically is like okay, this guy. What works for this guy? I think she's. Uh, I think she did a good job. Mm -hmm. I personally liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. I love their costumes. They were Barbie and Ken. They, they were so cute. totally Barbie and Ken, and they are adorable together. They're two blondes, beach guys, and they're so cute. And it's like I like them together. I think they like. <laughs> I wanted to comment on what, something you said that uh, people at home don't really get to see before, um, you know, as a couple where you're waiting in the wings yeah, about yeah. to go on. I've seen Peta right before she's about to go on, and she is a tigress. Yeah, it is. It, it she, she's like it's game, baby. Yeah, you ready? Cause we're going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's great. It's fun to see. She gets into her mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Kristen, what, did you like their number? You know, I think that I was really hard on Sean last week because he's not a natural mover. He's very yeah. muscle bound, but like the guy that like goes out there and lifts weights and he yeah. runs and he's he's fit, but he doesn't have a natural rhythm. No. Yeah. And I thought that this was a really nice improvement over last week. So you see, he's putting the effort in and he was having fun with it. And again, an insurance salesman or whatever he's doing pre bachelor, <laughs> you're not sitting there smiling and dancing around in the office. So I I thought he made a, a nice progress from last week to this week so I feel like I gave him some good props because I was kind of mean last week <laughs> I, I thought his flicks were really nice they, though they were kind of like stiff yes he hit like he hit the accent yes. that he was supposed to hit so right that yes. was nice um yes. uh, it was Bruno that mentioned that he thought it was more of a Lindy Hop jitterbug did you yeah, see that absolutely okay of course Just wanted to know but it's funky with the judges like okay like okay Carrie Ann I'm going a little bit ahead but Carrie Ann like mentioned a lift with Lisa and Gleb but then she oh, we're did gonna get not to that. mention a lift with Allie and Mark hmm mm. interesting and there was a lift in the middle of their routine and then technically Peter jumped into Ken Ken. Sean. Sean. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> well, it's called Kendall. Kendall. Uh, she did. At the end, so it's kind of a lift, but it's like at the very end of the routine. So it's like, it's like, okay. So it's like, okay, you choose to comment on this and not to comment on that. Right. So it's like, okay, whatever. Last season, mm -hmm. the, we talked a lot about that because the judging yeah. was kind of all over the place, and yeah. Kristen would agree with me on that. We had many discussions about judging. Um, their score was 20 out of 30. Did you guys pretty agree good. with that? Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. Well, what yeah. was this the score the week before? Uh, do you have that? Their total score it, was 39. I knew they had 19 the week before. Oh, yeah. so he's just he's, he's improved. That's, that's right. good. He said it was one point above, one, and he's like, any improvement right. is good improvement. So that's you good. Know, and Positive that's, attitude. Yes. That's, what he do, Ken he does, would say. He, <laughs> that is what he would say. <laughs> he does have a really positive attitude. I think that that's going to... I gonna, like that. His energy is really nice. Yeah. And right. I think that's going to translate through the screen and, and he has a huge fan base so I he's, think these are right. very very far he's a sweet guy actually. and like you said you know he is working really hard mm -hmm. and it shows yeah so okay let's move on to our Olympian Alexandra Raisman and Alexandra. Mark I, like I love that how they're called Alexandra <laughs> even though she's Allie, Allie. yeah um, we all know it's Allie we but get that's it. okay <laughs> doing the quick step um I wasn't a huge fan of their number last week uh, this week, she's much improved. Yes. Right. What did you think? What I enjoy about Mark Ballas' choreography is that it's very classical, but there's always this, like, little edge that he kind of just, like, spins it. Whereas, yeah, like, Derek style. Huff, he kind of, like, goes in his own direction and, like, adds in the technique because he has it. Mm -hmm. But I like that Mark kind of sits in that, you know, the classical zone. And I think that, I think that did really great with really? Allie. Yeah. See, I think the opposite. Really? Yeah. I think that there's always <laughs> this like this classical good. element with just like a little twist, and that's what Bruno said at the very end that yeah. he was like, I liked that. And I think it was good for Allie because her hold, I thought it was fantastic. Though yeah. that looking over her shoulder was super intense <laughs> the entire time, at least she had it. Yeah. And she's working at getting yes. perfection. Yes. Did you like it? Anna? I like the number. I think she, okay, this is what I really liked. I like that she 
went out and had the courage to be goofy and silly because what basically Mark was teaching her about the facial expressions and how you, it's like you can't do your like, Podium smile. Olympic thing, right? You know? <laughs> Which is, is fine because you kind of have to do that when you're in Olympics. But on Dancing with the Stars, like you have to embrace all these different characters. You know, in the quick step, depending on the song, you you a cartoon, and then you know, in in Argentine tango, you have to be like this tough, self-assured, prideful lady. And I mean, it's all in her way because I think she's going to do fantastic on the mm -hmm. show. I, I I personally think that she's going to be in the top three. You do? Uh huh. All right. Okay. It's well, Allie Raisman, guys. Yes. Uh, Kristen, chime in, please. My, I, I think Allie will be a top five. I'm not sure I think she'll be top three. But um, I, I think that she's coming out of her shell. She's a fierce competitor. She looked really clean this week. We're, we do need to break some of her gymnastics habits, you know, where she is a little bit more stiff. Um, but I want, I don't want her heaving bosom out <laughs> next week. But we've seen her boobs two weeks in a row. She's 18 years old. Let's tuck them back in. I love that she <laughs> fell backwards into the camera and the camera was like literally on her chest. That was, I was like, I, well, she's so young. Her costume was improved this week because her costume last week was It was still a deep V. It was still a deep V. Inappropriate. Yeah, it just was. Was it inappropriate? It was inappropriate up here. Boom. But like it was so unflattering everywhere it else. Yeah, it didn't do her any justice, no. her figure. No. Uh, this one was better. I agree with you, Kristen. And, you know, I mean, it's just like when, when Sean was on the show the first go-round, 2008, you know, gymnasts are here. Right. You know, wait, and wait a minute, taught. same partner. Yes. Yes. Mark right. Yes. likes boobs, clearly. Well, Mark also knows how to break a gymnast of their gymnast <laughs> of that likeness. Of yeah. right. <laughs> The woodenness, thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, exactly. what guy does not like boobs? <laughs> <laughs> they she, all do. she's 17? She's, she's 17. 17. You can still appreciate, I think. <laughs> maybe, maybe is that inappropriate? Sorry. Maybe. I wait, wait. So. But maybe he's caught. Like <laughs> maybe okay. he. Maybe they're showing that, showcasing that, because they're <laughs> covering everything else up. I don't know. Maybe so. Right? They like balancing things Some, out. Right. Who you don't want to show too much. Show maybe too there little, is you know. a plan. Maybe there is. I need to ask hey, him. She's still on the show, okay? So there must be a plan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's working. Whatever the plan is, it's working. I th definitely, though, improved for me this week. Mm -hmm. I like their number. I, I like did their like music. It. I like the whole concept. I think it was very cute. I'm glad that they got a 24 out of 30. I was like, good for the high score. Good. They deserved yeah. it. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. Um, all right. Next up, we had Lisa and Gleb doing yeah. the jive. Uh, <laughs> who wants to... <laughs> I Jake. I love her, and what's funny for me is that there's there's this timid quality that I don't understand that she's mm -hmm. giving because on the Real Housewives and on her show and in interviews she's so spicy and you see it in the interviews on the show of course mm -hmm. that she's spicy and seems very self assured and I think that she's almost afraid to look foolish maybe, maybe. I don't know. But something is holding her back because you see moments where she gets into the music and lets it just kind of flow. And some of her extension is great. Mm -hmm. And I Definitely. think I, I, I expected her to bring a lot more grace and kind of free for all to the to the show, which she's not bringing yet. And it makes me disappointed because I love her as a personality, right. as a TV personality. I wonder if she's maybe one of those people that not freezing but like where they have a difficult time turning it on and being able to focus and remember everything and right. perform Blanking. it and be in it on that live stage and show right. with the audience and with everything well it is very intimidating you know uh, people don't necessarily see it at home but when you are walking with your I mean, half the time, you can't even hear the beginning of the music. Our musical director has to literally yell like, six, seven, eight, for us to hear because the crowd can go crazy and they can stand up. And it, it kind of um, have that deer in the headlights out, you know, look or effect, I should say. It's a great point that you bring up because if you've never, if on TV you don't, know this but it is loud in there it can Very be so loud. loud you don't hear the judges even doing their comments to um to the couple mm -hmm. and a lot when, of the interviews in the, in the skybox like no, uh, when, no. I, when I went to the show, there was like, I couldn't hear anything. No, it's very, yeah. very loud. So I'm glad you uh, brought that up. What did you, you know? About Lisa, I just think she needs to, listen, I think it's hard. I think she is a very confident, self-assured woman with a lot of pride and a lot of spice in her own life. And in dancing, she just gets like this timid thing going. And it's like, you just be you, like, 
it's just another stage of you. Just be you, Lisa. Just just give it a go. Be you. Just say, go on that stage. After, okay, kill it in rehearsal. Kill it in rehearsal. And then when you get there on stage, just say, screw it yes. <laughs> and go for it. <laughs> it was a bit rough for me. Um, mm -hmm. Kristen, what did you think? I first want to give Lisa a shout out for bringing back 1980s leotard and tights. Amazing. Yes. Yes. She looks amazing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Do we not love that? I'm um, obsessed there, with there that. There are a lot of form issues. There's some confidence issues. And I think the live TV aspect is making her nervous. Yes. Because if she's killing it in rehearsal and then she's flubbing on live TV, mm -hmm. she's letting the fact that everyone at home is watching her instead of just dancing for herself and dancing for her partner. Mm -hmm. Right. And I loved their costumes. The whole concept, it was their so cute. Were and really I, cute. Even at the beginning when she was had the peanuts or whatever, I was like, just sell it whenever she was walking. <laughs> she was just kind of like, it was more frivolous and just like right. silly. And I was like, just own it and be like cute and like spicy. I don't know. I want to mention... Spicy peanuts. Yeah, spicy peanuts. I want to go back to something you <laughs> said with... Um, Carrie Ann made a comment in, to, to point out and call out right. Gleb for doing the lift. And she's right. like, you're new, so I've got to point it out to you. And I was like, that's a... It was a little harsh. You know, that's Carrie Ann. But... Okay, you know, like you're like she, it felt like she was scolding him. I know, and, and I was like, he's been on the show before, not <laughs> right. this, not this particular, you know, franchise, but he's been on the show. Like he gets yeah. the roles. Silly. Yeah. I don't know. I just Ugh. thought it was a little. I don't think silly. that lift was planned. I think she just didn't quite keep her legs on the floor. <laughs> I don't think he planned the lift. I honestly don't think so. Because I, I know that move, and I know what can happen. And with a lot of momentum, mm -hmm. the legs can fly, and she just. Happened to lift her legs a bit. I love it. Yeah. Well, go. their score was 18 out of 30. Yeah, kind That's of about fair. right. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Okay, so let's m move on here to uh, DL and Cheryl mm -hmm. with the quick step. Yes. I did not know what to expect this week. I uh, I thought it would be better than last week because how could it not be? <laughs> yeah. You would hope so. Uh, yes. See, and like, fours is like, that was like Master P. Yes, that was. That was like season two mm -hmm. when we had fours. Right. I love he, he was using his sense of humor and we, all the fours were used up. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Can't get them anymore. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. I for was me, too. I yes. mean, for what, you know, were you not? Sure, Didn't his shoulders expect? need to be down, his hips need to be tucked under, but I think <laughs> he gave it a f an awesome A for effort, seriously. Right. Yeah. Because in the rehearsals, I was, that made me really nervous when he kind of cussed in her. I was uh, like, oh, wow. It was... And I was kind of happy that she was like, okay, I'm going to leave. Anna. Let's let this calm down. How would you have handled, I mean, Cheryl was clearly fed up. Right. I mean, f she was, you could see it. She was just right. done. <laughs> like, <laughs> really? Right. How, uh, I, I don't know if you've ever had any contestants that pushed you in that direction. Um, yeah, I mean, I think Cheryl handled it really well. I think she did the, the only thing she could have done and be like, listen, don't talk to me like this. So I'm still your teacher, you know, show some respect. Um, and then you have to just, it's a process. And it's, those guys are a lo under a lot of stress. And um, he, her partner, DL, mm -hmm. right. is such a successful guy in the industry, in the movies and comedy and everything. And he is, I think it's a control thing because he's usually in control of the jokes. He usually, when he makes fun of himself or when he does a joke about himself or something that he's making fun of, he's in control of that. And here he's, in com he's completely out of control. Right of the situation and it's like I think it was a big learning experience for him. I agree completely and I think that I really feel like it came from a place of being supremely embarrassed on national TV. Humiliated. Right. Completely humiliated. Uh, handled himself poorly obviously with Cheryl but but that's where I felt like that's where it was coming from. Uh -huh. right. Not because he's like a bad dude. No. I don't, I don't know him so. personally. Yeah. But um, uh, Kristen, what did you? What was your take on DL and Cheryl? I think this is a really good point to all the audience at home that the show is a mental game. You know, we think about who can dance, but it is a mental hurdle for a lot of people. Confidence, going out there, and and as you said, he was embarrassed. 
how we yeah. did the very mm -hmm. first week. And Cheryl's a tough teacher, and she gets she great is. performances out of people that aren't necessarily movers. And I think we saw that progression during the rehearsal, and we saw that in the performance this week, that he let his wall come down a little bit, and he did better. Yep. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Uh, their score was 16 out of 30. Yeah. You guys I'd agree with so. that? I would agree. Yeah. It's I'm just slow, like, but it's it's just that's a process for him. He just has to take and I, even the judge. I mean, even the judges said like, listen, it's a process. As long as you come back every week and you better, and that's what it's not where you start. It's every week you have a new chance. Now he has another chance, mm -hmm. and he was clearly saved by the audience. He wasn't even the bottom two on Tuesday, so he got it. He got it. Yeah, right? and I think I think that's it. a really good pass. angle to work. You know the humiliation factors i think it works in his favor almost yeah in right. a way yeah well it'll be interesting to see you know what happens do we know what they have next week no no I'm not sure it's yet. a prom theme oh that's right it's a prom theme mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. uh okay so <laughs> <laughs> moving on to our final couple kelly and derek <gasps> yay wow oh my God. I, <laughs> jake <you're gonna laughs> i died i like literally died and that was it like, there was no funeral, no eulogy, no nothing. I was dead. The moment her leg lifted, <laughs> and I was just like, this is what I love about jazz. And I'm glad that they're featuring these different styles because right. this is taking the show to a whole other level. Like, that dance was unbelievable. Okay. Right. Unbelievable. Uh, the leg. The leg extension. Where? Who is this person? And I'm telling you, Derek must have been when he was in the first few weeks of having her. He's like, hello. I got, I got to keep her. I got to keep her. And another he one. Used, yeah, another, another one. one. Of, it's a good one. Always. Yeah. Always. Uh, I loved it. Um, he, Derek is so smart. Very Played smart. up all of her strengths. Her back flexibility <sighs> in the back move with the bar. I don't even know. Is there a special name for that move? <laughs> I don't think so. A C. Um, a C. She was making like a C. It's like a yoga move. Like he a, knows like her strength. Bow pose, yeah. The bow pose, yeah. But I mean, everything was tailored to her strength. Absolutely. The cheerleading moves. The back, ex you know, her back flexibility. Yeah. Everything. I mean, Derek is her so good. body is absolutely ridiculous like unbelievable she's a little bit she reminds she she's a, basically she's a tinkerbell yes everybody's been That's calling her said last week on the show with y'all yeah There's she be a theme. is a, a tinkerbell with an accent <laughs> Thick accent. She has a, a thick accent. What is that I, accent anyway? It's somewhere it's in the, the south. south. But it what's is. South? It is. Like what's south? She what? is from Some Alabama. 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 Alabama fans. Yeah. Where is she from? Yes. Um, Kristen, what did you what did you think of Kelly and Derek? I love this. I, I, wrote, I was just writing down notes as it was happening. Flexibility, lines, her pointed <laughs> feet. The pointed feet are such a big thing. Yeah. Oh, Extension. My gosh. One question, though. Did you guys think this was more of a contemporary dance versus jazz? Well, I mean, yeah. he said oh, yes. that during rehearsals. He was like, it's more of this song modern. is more of like a contemporary jazz right. piece. Yeah. Yeah, more, I definitely yeah. thought that. Modern. And mm -hmm. I feel like I'm enjoying Derek more this season, and I thought he was great with Sean last season. But I feel like maybe they're paired up a little bit better. And yeah. his choreography is just, he takes it to another level every single week. I don't know how he does it. Absolutely, and I just got to say, one of my favorite quotes of the night by Tom Bergeron was uh, when they came back, <laughs> and he said, if you're just tuning in, we're playing Where's the Body Fat. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that was a good comment. Was, this is why he's an Emmy Award. Tom, <laughs> Tom had a few of those comments, um, like about Mark Ballas' school of facial expression. Yes. yes. I, yeah. He's so quick Tom and Bergeron, so good. So quick. He deserves every kind of award that there is possible for a TV host. He's Agree. perfect. Yeah. Just perfect. And you know he Agree. comes up with that stuff just on the fly. Like yeah. He it's just comes up with amazing. it. Amazing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I, yeah. I had to replay it, actually, when he said that. I just thought it was fantastic. Uh, these guys scored a 26 out of 30. I think very mm -hmm. fair. I think I, th I, I mean they could, have, they, they could have given her like a thirty. I agree with that. But it's like if you give her a Too thirty, early. where do you go after that? No. Right. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I, I think that routine was so clever mm -hmm. and it was so tailored to her. And um, Derek is just smart, man. He's just a smart guy. He knows creative. what works. Mm -hmm. So creative. He knows what works. He knows what works for Kelly, and he's. Um, He's just a talented dude, so mm -hmm. props to Derek and to Kelly for keeping up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. When, uh, just that leg raise, I was like, made the moment. You of died. Season. You I, died. I literally, I, I did too. I died too. 
just love you. Perfectly. I don't think I can We're do that honestly. I think if I if what? I stretch for like a lo long time in the hot <laughs> yoga room, I probably could. <laughs> but like right now, you ask me to do it, I'd be like, no. Are you crazy? Yeah. We are in for a crazy? treat with this couple mm -hmm. and what they're gonna bring. I'm every excited. Week. I fully I'm excited. expect them in the finale. Yes, I do. I think I so. Completely expect it. Right. Um, okay, so we're gonna go to news and gossip, Kristen. After Buzz TV News. Kristen, what do you got for us? All right. Guess who's become really good friends behind the scenes? Ooh. Andy Dick and Winona. I kind of like this. I can kind of see, see it. it. I can okay. See it. Yes. I can't. You kind of see it. Like I can. They both feel like they're underdogs, um, and they've buddied up, and they they have, feel like they have an understanding, even though they have completely different backgrounds. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Definitely. Yeah, so that's I I'm going to ask the behind I'm the scenes stuff, and I was like, that one kind of excited me. Now, here's something that's been going around a lot, and maybe Anna can answer some of this. Do new pros get more challenging contestants on their first couple seasons? Because you see, like, Derek being paired up with Kelly, and he had Sean Thompson last season, and you see that um, Sharna has Andy Dick, and, you know, you have Lindsay, who has um, Victor, and Gleb has Lisa. So a lot of people are buzzing around the internet saying, are the experienced ones getting the better dancers? I wouldn't say so. I don't think so. But then Tony has... Tony's had all, been all over the place. Yeah. Tony's been all over the place. He won the show last season. Now he has Vinona. Before that, he had... Whoa, what's, what's he's name? had Kate. He's had, he's yeah, had many Kate, challenging, he had many challenging. I don't think so. <laughs> it's not... It, that's not how it works. I mean, people like to speculate. But honestly, it works on personality and how people work because Lisa is so powerful such a strong personality and Gleb is such a sweetheart that it works Lindsay even though she's a strong girl she's quite soft she's quite pleasant and she's quite calm and her boy is like puppy you know yeah. he just ah! <laughs> and Andy is so again out of the box and Sharna being very composed so it's it's about balance if you give you know, Andy to to somebody like like Karina. I mean, that would be an explosion waiting to happen. Yeah, the producers right. know what they're doing. Is they what you're what saying? They know what they're doing. <laughs> well, yeah, what I'm trying to say is like, don't play that. Oh, a new pro, they get in more challenging. Why are the older pros getting an easier time? They don't get an easier time. Cheryl, hello. She's been season two. She's never missed a show. She has uh, Mr. D. And she has to work really hard and convince mm -hmm. him that he has to, you know, not be so scared. Yeah. We'd we'll love Absolutely. your perspective on that. <laughs> and everyone's doing statistics. Um, Cheryl has made six finales out of her 14 seasons. Yep. And Derek, 60%, 60% of the time. And his worst finish was sixth place. That's not so bad. So everyone is just sort of uh, already doing the Vegas odds on the season. Love <laughs> yeah. it. Love it. I, ha I have a little bit of news and gossip, too. Okay. Yes. I, uh... I hosted the Vanderpump Rules After Buzz TV after show, and nice. um, Sheena, Sheena Marie, who was one of the main people on the show, I asked her, she was at the results show on Wednesday, when, or Tuesday, when Lisa was in the bottom two, and I was like, what do you have to say to mm -hmm. her fans and everything? And she said, I think when someone is in the bottom two, like Lisa, he, who has a huge fan base, goes to show that people need to vote. Yes. Her dance partner is new and doesn't have a huge following and that's hurting Lisa also with people not voting. Absolutely. And she said that Pandora, Lisa's daughter and her, were sitting in their chairs shaking because they were so nervous. So Aww. she's just encouraging all the fans to just get out there and vote and Gotta to vote. show Lisa right. their support. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Um, Kristen, did, were you done? Oh, yeah, I was just going to say, I want to want to give one shout out because we usually give one shout out to one of our fans yes. each week that, you know, constantly watch and comment. So uh, this week it's Georgia from Brazil. Yes, oh, we yeah. love her. All the way from South America and we sure Those comments, She's amazing. She's Georgia, comments. we love you. Thank you. Um, so really quick, we got to go to predictions. Okay. Jake, and I'm going now, to you first. You're after Buzz TV. Are you predicting who's going to get voted predicting off? Predicting who's going to go get voted off and predicting who you think is going to go all the way. Who I think is going to go all the way. Here's my top three. It's going to be Zendaya, Kelly, and... Oh, I want to say Allie Raisman. I'll go with you on that okay. one. And I think next week we might see in the bottom two is Ingo because... I don't know, it could go either way. Right. He's kind of forgettable in my opinion. That's just my opinion. You might disagree. But it could be DL. 
if he doesn't like really show up. Right. Or maybe Lisa, you never know. I just, I don't know. <laughs> You're I, all over I the place. I don't want her to get Lisa, I don't want Lisa to go home okay. whatsoever. So. All right, Anna. Well, I think uh, I would agree with you on the bottom too. I think uh, Ingo has, I mean, he's doing great, but he just needs to catch the audience. Mm -hmm. He really does. And I hope that all the soap fans are behind him. And DL, he needs to kind of step up a little more. Yeah. Well, I, I'm uh, I, Zendaya and Kelly. Obviously, I think they're going all the way. Yeah. Um, yeah. In terms of who's going home, I think it's going to be Lisa or DL. Just. Just okay, my thing. top three. Let's let's have a five dollar uh, Starbucks bet. I love Boom. it. Starbucks. Uh, so, uh, Tinkerbell, Kelly, mm -hmm. Kelly, um, Super Bowl. Uh, Jacoby. Jacoby. Yes, yes. Oh, I forgot. I'm using my top three yeah. too. Yeah, Jacoby yeah. and Olympics. And Allie Olympics. <laughs> I love Tinkerbell, it. Super Bowl, right, and Olympics. Right That's here. what I say. Okay, Those guys. Well, nicknames. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun having you all. Um, where can everybody find you guys? Well, they can find me on Twitter at atrebunskaya or on Facebook or my own website, anatrebunskaya.com. And you can come. find me on Twitter at Jake underscore Dupree or on Instagram at Jake Dupree. Amazing. Yay. And you can find me at Surrey Serrano on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thank you all so much for and joining me, us. Hey, and Kristen Burt at Kristen Burt. And you guys, I'll be on DH1, Big Morning Buzz, 10 a.m. on Friday. So I hope you guys Yay. all watch. Yay. Amazing. Yay, Thanks for joining us, Kristen. And we miss you. Can't wait to see you next week. Thank you guys you so much. Guys. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. I'll see you soon. From Bing.com, executive producers <laughs> Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.